We are three weeks into Queen Kamala's reign, and Americans are still clueless as ever on what the heck she stands for. There is not a single major policy position on her website, but she knows how to be a copycat. Kamala is now ripping off Donald Trump's signature, no tax on tips pledge. Raise the minimum wage and eliminate taxes on tips for service and hospitality workers. When I get to office, we are going to not charge taxes on tips. There will be no taxes on tips. No taxes on tips. It's called no tax on tips. No tax on tips. I'm also doing no tax on tips. No tax on tips. So what will Kamala the chameleon rip off next? Will she build the wall? Harris is now trying to transform herself into a border hawk. She took on drug cartels and jailed gang members for smuggling weapons and drugs across the border. Fixing the border is tough. So is Kamala Harris. But the one thing Kamala cannot copy is raw talent, and her friends in the media are doing their best to make that happen. Harris is gracing the latest Time magazine cover and calling it, quote, the reintroduction of Kamala Harris. And despite her word salad speech style, this lady thinks Kamala is the second coming of Barack Obama. I think it's a really good campaign, and people really like her. She's gotten to be a really gifted Obama-level orator, and, you know, she was very much underestimated by the mainstream media. And, and quite frankly, she has, you know, she has command. You hear her up there, and she is confident. She is calm, and she is commanding. And, and for whatever reason, America is ready for her, which is very exciting. You know, Harold, the interesting part of this no tax on tips is that Kamala doesn't even say, you know, even though Donald Trump talked about it. Um, and he, he, you add to that that she was actually the tie-breaking vote to give more power to the IRS agents to be able to actually tax those tips. And so on the one hand, we had Joe Biden, the plagiarist, and now Kamala, the copycat. 